hell, it's been a pretty good day. So most of the day I was with my husband at a local park. Um, just a quick message to Captain Kangaroo. Let me kind of set the story straight when it comes to me and this whole legal matter. Um, I guess I made the mistake by putting a photo of the apartment complex up on my community post at one point last year showing the building where I resided and the building where the plaintiff resided. And all I did was post the signboard with the name of the complex. And all of a sudden, I was accused of doxing, which is not true. But yes, um, I was taken to court by that individual, and I lost. But um, Natasha Cooper, I actually asked her to help um, advocate for me. And she really didn't advocate. All she did was tell the judge about how wonderful she was and everything about all of her channels. And I hardly ever got even a chance to speak or cover any of my evidence that I sent. I spent over $40 to ship all my evidence to the court. All my evidence was completely ignored. It was not even taken into question. And the plaintiff shot her mouth off. And I ended up losing that case. That night, she went live and played a song called Winner Take All. And ever since then, she has constantly, almost every single day since then, she has gone live and constantly talked about me and trashed me and then tells me that due to the lifelong legal order against me, it's her way of trying to permanently silence me. Well, I tell you what. I'm not going to be silenced. I don't care. Legal order or no legal order. That person is not going to shut me up. But it's unfair for her to think that she has more of a right to constantly come live every day and trash me. And badmouth me. And accuse me of lying. Whatever. The way that I see it, that PPO order was taken out against me under false pretenses. She got away with quite a bit of false information that she put on the temporary order. She has constantly accused me of lying on her or about her. And simply, I know my truth. And I stand by my truth. Sure. But she sees things differently than I see it. But again, I have known Noodle Mash all my life since high school. End of story. And we were neighbors for several years. And five years ago, due to the constant upset from that individual, my medical issues with all my medical conditions, I was not doing very well medically. And so when the opportunity came about to where my husband and I could move and relocate, we took that opportunity. Yeah, you didn't yes, have I had to move for medical reasons, but the medical reasons were brought on by that individual. And that's mainly why me and my husband chose to up and move and relocate. And then I was stalked on Facebook which is the truth and not a lie. I had to shut my Facebook account down because of that. And then I decided to come over to YouTube after that. And this has been going on ever since. And apparently this person just cannot let up on me. All this person really wants to do I is know. try to find a way to completely ruin me just because of her complete jealousy of me. That's what all this is over. Is this simple jealousy. And that's the truth. She knows it and I know it. But again, she sees 
truth being on her side and not mine. It's a scary look in the back. She constantly accuses me of lying on her and about her. I am so tired of being wrongfully accused of being a liar. Yeah. I am not a liar. So there's that. But that's the story, Captain Kangaroo. That is the full story. And from then on, since November of last year, this has constantly been an issue right. between me and that other person. I think so, yeah. And all I want it to do is stop. I want it stopped. And all I want for her to do is leave me alone and get all her little hateful thugs to leave me alone. I'm tired of being bothered. 